Hey, welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how much in value does land increase each year and my experience as a land investor and what I've found. Hey, I'm Brent Bowers, founder of The Land Sharks. I've done over 259 land deals and I have over 100 land notes paying me each month. So I'm here to today to talk to you about the land values increasing. You know, is there a real answer of what it goes up each year? You know, my experience and then finally what the USDA has to say about it. All right, so if you're watching this video, you probably just want me to just give you a certain percent. You know, it's not going to be like it's probably not exactly what you want to hear but it's what you're expecting to hear it depends like there's so many things there's so many parameters of what can adjust this you know who's moving into the area are there jobs is this an area where people are actually moving into or moving out of like is it a bad area you know it so depends so let's talk about you know things that could affect it you know number one is jobs are there any jobs like is there anything for people to do and make money you know to be able to afford where to live there you know to have groceries to send their children in a school you know these are the things that affect you know the growth like the percentage that land increases each year now across the country it is a positive increase we always hear like land appreciates house appreciates land to appreciate each year but not as much as the housing market it's a slower appreciation it's a slower uptick which is why i love it you know you can count on that land always being there you know the land is not going anywhere that the buildings can be knocked down or burnt down but the land is always going to stay there and it's like a smaller uptick in the market as far as how much it increases how much it appreciates each year let's talk about the weather you know something as simple as the weather something that happens every day whether we like it or not is it going to rain today how dry is it are the crops growing are the trees going are we in a major drought you know the weather over multiple years can affect the way the land value is increased or decreased. I want to tell you a little story about uh, an area that I'm in called Apache, Arizona. This is dry, boring desert. I mean, there's like no grass out there. There's no electric. There's no water. There's no job growth growing out there. There's like nothing happening. But I bought 117 lots a couple years ago of this land. And I was super nervous buying this land, but I was getting it at a massive, massive discount. I mean, I was getting this stuff for like $300 a lot. And each one of these lots are anywhere from one acre to two acres. Well, I bought it for $300 a pop. And I started selling this land and it took me a while to sell it. I had to get great photos, great video of it. And I really showcased it as a place where people can go and ride their ATVs, do the recreational stuff, park their RVs and no one's there to mess with you. Like it's the middle of nowhere. It was more like a meditation spot, a quiet place for people to go to. What I found is people are loving this, you know, and I kind of just gave away my story here already. But in the beginning, I was a little nervous to start selling this because I'm from Florida. I love seeing palm trees. I love seeing water. I love seeing green grass. Just because it was land that I wasn't familiar with or I wouldn't particularly buy, I did have people wanting to buy it. You know, I've got college students that buy this stuff to go on trips across the country. I've got, you know, elderly people that just want to have a place to just drive their RV and park on it. And I've got families buying it just to go out there and create bonfires and camping experiences and memories, you know, with their children before they grow up and move out of the house. So as I would sell this land, I would be so afraid to call these people about a month or two later to say, hey, how did you love your land? And did you like your land? And they would be ecstatic. I was actually afraid because I thought they'd want a refund. So getting into my story about land going up in value, well, there's other land investors that started moving into this area from about 2016 to 2019. And as these land investors started moving into this area and buying this land up and selling it to other people at retail and premium prices, guess what it did? It made Apache, Arizona, this little area of desert, these square lots go up so much in value. I went from selling my land at $1,800 an acre to $3,600 an acre. It pretty much doubled. So that could happen in the area. So that's my little story about Apache, Arizona and what land values can do when other investors move in, when other people start buying it. So that's a perfect example of people moving into an area. Now, people were moving out of the area and everyone was just selling, 
my land values might have stayed around the $300 a plot that I bought. That was my biggest fear that I would have to give this stuff away at $300, but I'm giving this stuff away now at $3,600 a plot and I bought it for $300 a plot. All right, so I've got some facts and I've got some numbers from you straight from the USDA. So I'm gonna read them to you actually so you don't have to go and look them up like I did. So according to the USDA, the agriculture land value highlights the United States farm real estate value, a measurement of the value of all land and buildings on farm averaged $3,160 per acre in 2019, that's up $60 per acre. That's a 1.9% increase from 2018. And the United States cropland value averaged $4,100 per acre, and that was an increase of $50 per acre, and that's a 1.2% increase to the positive from the previous year. So the United States pasture value averaged $1,400 per acre, and that's up $30 per acre, and that's a 2.2% increase from 2018. So if you followed me this far, you know, you're probably thinking, holy cow, 2%, big deal. Like I won't even invest it. I'll just leave my money in, in the bank account and earn that fat whopping 0%. What if I could show you how to get a 300% return on investment? Every dollar you spend that you make $3 back. Let me give you an example. I just purchased a piece of land for $10,000 and I sold it for $30,000 the next day. If you're interested in doing things like that and accumulating income like that and a passive income, I told you already, I've done 259 land deals. I get paid on over 100 land deals every single month. If you're interested in that, head over to landsharks.com. You can find the link below in the description. Go ahead, click on it now. Schedule a call with me and my team and we will walk you through how to make 300% returns on land.